a Florida man tried to pay for McDonald's with a bag of weed. I'll tell you right now, if I'm working that McDonald's drive-thru and you hand me a bag of weed for the food, I'm like, rock on, bro. <laughs> Come back tomorrow. <laughs> so police were alerted to, to Anthony Andrew Gallagher's offer early Sunday morning and got a description of him from the worker. This is Point, Point St. Lucie, Port St. Lucie, Florida. Police in Florida say a 23-year-old man went through a McDonald's drive-thru and tried to pay for his order with a bag of marijuana. News outlets report Port St. Lucie police say the fast food worker denied the trade. Oh! Fast food employee kept it, looks like. And Anthony Andrew Gallagher drove off, only to return again a short time later. Police arrested him Sunday on charges of marijuana possession and driving under the influence. Okay, so the details are murky. Uh, it's unclear if Gallagher attempted to pay for his order with drugs the second time. It's also unclear if he has a lawyer. Who cares if he has a lawyer? Well, they always put that in there. The articles always end with, we're not sure he has a lawyer. Like, that's the least of our worries, okay? Uh, okay, the fast food worker denied the trade. That sounds to me like the fast food worker accepted the trade, which is what I said that I would have done. Um, hey, you know what? You're working for McDonald's, man. You're not paying me enough to even for me to afford weed, okay? So where am I going to get my weed? Obviously, someone comes through the drive-thru with some weed. I'm gonna take your weed, bro. You don't, you don't even pay me a weed salary, McDonald's. <laughs> and by the way, if I'm gonna work at McDonald's eight hours a day, I need weed in my life. Because that's, that's not an easy experience. A McDonald's in Florida? You, you out of your mind? I'm gonna work at a McDonald's in Florida. I'm gonna need all the drugs you can give me to get through an eight-hour day of fast food work in the state of Florida. Can you imagine the riffraff that come in there? And riffraff is, I'm, I'm putting it nicely. In a McDonald's in Florida, man, people, people are like, it's crackheads are delivering babies in the McDonald's Florida bathrooms. That's what's going on in Florida. It's outrageous. People bringing in alligators into the, through the drive through I'm sure. I mean, there's just the, just the craziness going on at a McDonald's in Florida. I mean, I can't even wrap my head around the possibilities. And it sounds like the Florida, the uh, the Florida McDonald's employee was like pretty psyched about the uh, the weed and did not want to get involved with the police. And I wouldn't either. Police come around. Yo, did you you know anything about a guy trying to buy weed with it? No, no, sir, no. I work at McDonald's. Okay, I don't make enough money to get to bail myself out of jail. Okay, so please move along. <laughs> I wonder, did the guy call us, him, the cops on himself? Like, why did this work? Did he realize what he did after it and go, oh, I really need that weed back. What if I, mm, I'm going to call the cops and say the, the, kid, the kid in the drive-thru forced me to pay with weed. No, no, then, it's gonna, then I'm going to have to admit that I had weed on me. All right, this is not working. Because, <laughs> I mean, he went back. He went back. Did he, was he like, oh, I realized that I, that was a bad business decision. I need to go back and get my weed and give the kid, like, $5 instead. I love it, though. I mean, whenever you work a terrible job, you need little things like this to brighten up your day, you know? A beautiful, you know, a beautiful woman comes through your line. Oh my God. Brightens up your day. A celebrity maybe comes in. You know, it's like, oh, it's, look who came into McDonald's. Steve Perry of Journey. <laughs> you just made my day, Steve Perry. Or, oh, look at this. Oh, you're giving me a bag of weed to pay for my, your meal? This is great. I need a bag of weed. I work at McDonald's in Florida. 